Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, this is Alex. Wait a minute, let me get my picture here. There we go. Don't I look pretty? Don't I look pretty? Huh? I look pretty. Don't I look pretty? I look pretty. You know who looks prettier? Right, right over there. Mm, hi. 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 It's Friday. It's Friday. Right. Uh, people and have... I have a three-day weekend. Well, you have a three-day weekend? Yeah, it's Memorial Day on Monday. It is? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Going anywhere? What? Are you going anywhere? Am I going anywhere? Mm-hmm. Why should I go? Why should I? Why should I go anywhere? I'm just asking. Them, are you going anywhere? Uh, uh, no. No. Are you going anywhere? No. Uh huh. So wh- why should I be going somewhere without you? Just thought I'd ask. You just thought you'd ask. Well, the sound you hear in the background, by the way. See, when I turn my thing down, you can't hear it as much, but when I turn on both microphones you can you can well, kind of hear it. summer in the city. Huh? It's summer. It, it's getting to be summer. It's just it, about no, there. It, it's still, Another two weeks. It, it's, it, today it was like in the 80s but yeah. tomorrow it's going back to the 70s or something and you know it's it, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I work up a sweat anyway because I'm working out. Ah. Don't I look healthier? Mm. What, what, what are you looking at? I'm just looking. I like when Damien does his little thing. I are, like to watch you're it. watching Damien do he his He hasn't gotten thing. there yet. He hasn't gotten there yet. Or maybe he left already. Maybe he did. He yeah. posts his show very fast. Yeah. and he, I always He like is the one person that I have to take my hat off to. Oh, wait a minute. Too much glare. Uh, by the way, if, if, I'm, if I do this... All of a sudden, everything gets brighter. You did that yesterday with the yellow yeah, shirt. Yeah, but but I thought with a dark shirt it wouldn't have a problem. Oh, you notice? Uh, do you know? Do you uh, notice at all what the shirt is I'm wearing? The apple. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this was. I can't remember how I got this, but that's. Uh, right, I get the, See the apple logo. That's the old. That's, that's the, the old o- one. That's the older one. That's not the one they're using anymore. They're uh, they're they're not using that any longer. That's the colored one. I but I found this in the closet, uh, in in the one closet that I have for stuff. So you know. Anyway, how you doing? I'm hanging in there. I'm tired. You tired? Yeah. In about twenty minutes, I'm going to bed. Twenty one minutes. Twenty. Then you always stick around for no, the people. No, I'm not sticking for a around while. tonight. Yeah. So call in. Yeah. We just saw something very depressing. Uh, we, we watched a, uh, a hour and a half documentary that's on uh, Amazon. No, HBO. HBO, excuse me, on HBO called The Last Year, I think it was called. The Last Year or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And it is about the last year of Obama's Obama. White House and the people who worked in it, more the, uh, but, the diplomatic corps. But but in the diplomatic section, that, that area, you y- know. Yeah. John Kerry and all the speechwriters and the and stop it yeah and the UN ambassador um. <laughs> she hates it when I pick my fingers <laughs> look at that she refuses to look anyway tell them what it was about I just said I'm no longer picky <laughs> for the time being stop no. it it's so gross I just gross you out, don't I? Yes, you there, do. There's nothing about me that in any way is 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 something you enjoy about it's me. It's true. <laughs> is there anything enjoyable about me left? <laughs> left? That left? I left. mean, that you you seem to, when we first met, you seem to enjoy me. Well, that was like 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and what's happened since then? Life. I'm working out. Yeah. That means like I should... That, that, and almost every day. Well, you shouldn't do it every day because you need your body to rest. Well, I'm not listening to you. Sure. Anyway, uh, uh, I'll, I, but I, I anyway, didn't, I don't want to hear about your working. Well, out. I didn't work. 
What do you mean you don't want to hear well, about yeah, it? We're talking about the documentary. No, but I mean you want you you. you anyway, it was a good every, documentary. Every you should watch I, it. Every, and it ended when Trump got elected in. Elected, and everybody's really depressed. Yeah. yeah, and I'm still depressed about it. Huh? I'm still depressed. Really? Oh, he's just. What he's doing to this country is terrible. Well, we, we then watched uh, Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis that he did with Barack Obama. And we suddenly, it was so wonderful to have a president who had a sense of he humor. He does have a sense of humor. And good timing, too, yeah, in, yeah. in comedy that he does. So, I mean, he, he's re he was really, uh, he, he's really good. Mm -hmm. But anyway, as I watch this, you just have this profound sense of loss. Yeah, of our yeah. country. Well, first the loss of Barack Obama, who really was a, you know, he wasn't a great president. But he was a fine he man. He got to be a better president. And he was a fine on. man. But he was a fine man. Yes. He gave dignity to the office. He yes. cared about the dignity he of the office. He loved his family. Yeah. Uh, he respected the office. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, at no point did he ever say that if uh, she wasn't my daughter, I'd fuck her. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, he, there was a class there that you miss, you yeah. know. And I remember that I kind of at one point years ago said, well, I miss, this was when Bush was president, you I miss, miss Clinton. <laughs> no, I miss Clinton. Uh, but I don't think I miss Clinton as much as I miss Obama. Yeah, I agree. I just like the dignity and the class that he brought to the White House rather than the stupid shit that's going on now. Um, by the way, today, the president went back on what he said yesterday about Korea. And and why did he say the thing he said yesterday, you know, the letter he sent to him? Yeah, like, because like, he was losing face. It was like a letter a 13-year-old writes to a 13-year-old girlfriend. And they break up. That, that, and they'd broken up. Read it that way, and it, it's the same kind of letter. And somebody said the reason why he did that yesterday and why it changed today was he wanted to get out in front of it in case Korea said, we don't want to do the, t the, uh, the talks, okay? And therefore, he wouldn't be embarrassed because he had quit first. My and then today he, than your today he found out that they really don't want to quit and they weren't planning on backing out, so now all of a sudden he's changed his tune. This president is, from day to day, you never know what his opinion is going to be. And he wants it that way. He wants to keep everybody, you know, walking on eggshells. And we're spending all our time on what his tweets are and not on the serious stuff that's happening, which is terrible. Yeah, well, you know, I just, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's horrible. It is. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so... Um, what what I what I watch this week? I say I watched Fahrenheit 451, which wasn't as good as the movie that Francois Truffaut made many many years ago. Uh, and I thought it was going to be a two parter, and it turned out it was a one parter. And I went at the end. I said, "Gee, this thing is wrapping up awfully." And then I went. I looked it up. And yeah, it was the only. It, the only it thing. was just a, a made for TV HBO movie. You know. It's not porn, it's HBO. <laughs> that is a great ad. Yeah. It's not porn, it's HBO. HBO. Anyway, I think I'm too tired to do a show tonight. Well, I'm definitely tired. Why don't we just both... In exactly... You know what um, happened to me? There's this 16 show. 16 minutes. There's a show called Legion, which is... Uh, I haven't decided whether it's a good show or a bad show. But you'll watch it anyway. No, but it is because... This is, a, this is from a guy who says that he never watches television. I have certain I have certain shows Quote I watch. Unquote. I have certain shows I watch. I I don't care. And I have my shows. And that now I, watch. I have nothing to watch because it's uh you know the, the wait till our summer company comes and we have a lot of company coming this summer. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 Well, no, we we don't have that much. We have one guy for three days. We well, Albert's coming to stay. Yeah, that'll Albert be great. I'm gonna wife. make chili for him. Albert and his wife are coming to stay for a week. And Janice Which is means I don't get to use that no, room. And Janice is coming from Monday to Friday. She yeah. leaves on Friday. Yeah, but Albert's coming, and I'm looking forward to yeah. that. Plus, we'll probably get him on the show here. Great. Take, do it on Friday. 
Huh? Do it on Friday so I can go to sleep. No, no, no. Yeah, no. yeah, I'm yeah, tell, yeah, yeah. Uh, They probably have things to do on Friday. 15 minutes. What? Nothing. What, are you doing the time? Yeah, thing? yeah. And I'm starving because I've been dieting again. Again. And uh, I, 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 had a, I had a salad, made myself a salad tonight. With Adrian me. said that you were, have always been on a diet since the day she met you. Well, apparently it didn't work before. This time it worked. <laughs> But I just don't, I seem to be gaining weight and I don't know what it is. I'm trying, and I figure out I'm doing away with all the stuff that says net carbs. I'm figuring maybe just that's where it's maybe coming. Maybe cut from. your portions a little. No, it doesn't matter portions. In fact, I didn't have lunch, I didn't have breakfast today. Well, didn't that, have breakfast yesterday. Well, that's not good. You should you know. have a lot of little meals. And then I had a salad tonight for dinner and I had, uh, um, um, couple of uh, uh, macadamia nuts and that's it okay but I'm not doing net carbs any longer good net carbs is carbs minus the fiber and minus the uh, I don't sugar think alcohol wants to know yeah no they do no so, they don't uh, yes they do no, they don't. so uh, and minus those okay and uh, really interesting and, isn't and it so that 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 then it goes with the carbs so there you know, so so if something has, uh, uh, oh, let's say I, I have uh, some Brazil nuts. They have two net car, two car, two carbs of uh, carbohydrates, but it has two car, uh, two grams of dietary fiber. Therefore, it has net zero carbs. But I'm not counting that anymore. You have too I much time on your hands. Well, I want to know why I'm working out. Every time I used to say, I'm gaining weight, I'm putting a little bit of it back. I got back another pound. You go, well, if you just work out. Well, it's not going to happen overnight, Alex. Well, this is. It took you 77 right. years this to get. This is two weeks I've been working so out. So it's going Almost every day. Well, you shouldn't do it every day. That's why? Because your body needs to rest. I like it. Well, I'm addicted to fuck it. Fuck you. The endorphins. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I, I love the endorphins. I'm hooked, I'm hooked on endorphins. Yeah, right. So, you know, well, what is your workout regimen? You heavy, yeah. You, you, you and how many days a week? Three. Mm -hmm. Only three. Well, I can't get there during the week. It's hard. Oh, I see. Okay, and 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 so, what do you do when you go to work? It's a out? long process. What do you mean? It's a long process. It is. Because I find it absolutely excruciatingly boring. Well, that's you. I'm sitting there pedaling on a bicycle. It's going nowhere. And your point is? And my point is, you know, uh, there I am. Th I did uh, what I do. Did I did 26, seven, 27 minutes today on the bike. Got myself up to 150 calories and six miles. All right? What do you mean? You're just giving me, you really give me no incentive in this thing. You don't go, Alex, that was terrific. You told me to shut up because I'll try to put on you the stuff that I do and tell you everything that's bad so I don't say a word. I'm just glad you're going to the gym. End of conversation. Okay? What do you mean end of conversation? That's hey, it. Hey, we're arguing. Guess what? We have two people listening. No, we have a lot of people listening. I'm going to bed. Why? I'm tired. You can't go to bed yet. Twelve minutes. Where is this? Every day this asks me if I want to upgrade my uh, my my programs, and I don't want to do that. All right, all right. Cut that out there. Okay. Now. Do you so, believe? No, him? no. But I mean, I want encouragement. I want. I'm glad you're going to the gym, Alex. What you know, and you say. Adrian says you've always been trying to lose weight. Well, and I believe it, because since I met you, you've always been trying to lose weight. Well, I've always been conscious of my weight, yes, yeah. because I'm in show business. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I was in show business. <laughs> That's why you went into radio. I used to... <laughs> radio was in show business? No, it is, but you're not seen. I did. I you're did. You're not seen. Yeah, I did a lot of TV, too. So I had to look good. When you were somebody. When I was somebody. I had TV. I did TV too. What do you think those two Emmys sitting there for? <laughs> Not looking good? <laughs> you know. So anyway, so I, I, uh, I, I it, and what happens? This is what I don't get. Whenever you get together with your girlfriends who know me on some level, 
You always, they always manage to say something to you disparaging about me. No, she just said that she, as long as she knows you, you've, you've been either going ballooning up or ballooning down. You've always been on a diet. So is she. We're not talking about her. Well, yeah, but she you. was talking about me. So? She's almighty. Can I come over? No, no, you can't come over. Just stay where you are. Nine minutes. Huh? I'm going to bed. I Wait. didn't get a good night's sleep, and I'm tired. Yeah. But I, I go down there, and I actually I break a sweat. Good. I, oh, and he goes with the towel around his neck. Well, I need a towel when I'm there. Where do I put the towel? Down my crotch? And it's then... so cute with the rolled towel around his neck. <laughs> well, you know what I bought today? What? There. I bought a lock. Oh, good. And I bought a lock so I can take a gym bag with me. Good. So I can put the towel in, in the, the gym, gym bag. bag. That's the only thing in the in the gym bag is the towel. Well, that's okay. So you'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> because I don't know what else I want to take to the gym. But I found out they have lockers. I mean, I found out they actually have a locker room. I didn't know that. They probably have showers, they too. They do, too. Yeah. 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 But I don't need to take a shower. Because I come home and I take the shower. Well, at least you're doing some activity. Other than sitting in bed and yeah, watching Yeah, the shower television. is exhausting. <laughs> no, but you're not watching television. Well, I know. I go down every day. I mean, I've been very good about this. Except for yesterday. Yesterday, I went out to lunch with Jack. How was that? Oh, it was very good. And by the way, I asked Jack, ladies and gentlemen, because you've all been asking, Jack Garfine. Good the guy back. that we did the thing about the concentration camp. Now, part well, two. Well, part two of his life is incredibly interesting. Right. Uh, and uh, so, and people have been asking, when are you going to do that? And I t told him how much you loved him, everybody. And he said, uh, Next week? Uh, uh, no, in a couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, All right. Wait, no, I'm not through yet. We aren't even close. We got seven minutes left. Oh, God. I, but I got to adjust my picture here. Um, let me just adjust it a second because I want to bring uh, the uh, camera down a little bit, the tilt uh, down so that the light is more and the pan is over there. There we go. There we go. Okay. Apply. All right. Okay. There we go. I was just adjusting the picture. Uh, I'm assuming that's what you were doing. Yeah. I, was, I thought maybe that would help. Yeah, that helps I, well, a little bit. Look, look at the back. How I it saw, gets. I saw yesterday. How, how the back gets it. darker when I have this on like this. When I do that, but this is a black shirt. It shouldn't, you know. Maybe it's the movement. That I don't know. Is. You know what I found out the other day? Remember the last week you were like pounding on the table, and that light was oh, flashing right, right, on right, and right. off. You, you know what I think? What it was? What? Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, what it is? No, it it's it's vibration. It, no, yeah, it's from it, it's the the mic. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's because it's pounding the microphone. Ah. Causes you to make okay. those lights flash. Turn the, turn it on. And I was telling people last night that you bought that for me. I did. And then you always give me a bad time when it isn't on. It was a stocking stuffer. It was a stocking stuffer. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we miss Obama, uh, and uh, uh, this president is just, he just made the whole thing just uh, horrible, you know? And not only that, just, just he, he, the presence he, of the, the, of what the position is, of what the White House is, he's turned it into a dump. There's no dignity. That's well, right. he's, he's, yeah, he's turned it into a, uh, a used car lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just think it'd be nice if we had more. Uh, it, if it just had a little more dignity, that's all. Yeah. All right, sweetie. Uh, no, I'm I'm fixing a few things here. No, I'm just gonna We're watch still you offline. No, you just go go there. We, it says we've delivered your order. What order did they deliver? Once a month, uh, once every three months, I pay. Was it nineteen dollars so that people can use the phone on the show? Oh. Which I'm thinking of doing away with because hardly anybody ever uses the phone on the show. The only person that uses it is, uh, um, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, I forget his name. Oh, what's his name? Yeah. Uses it. Yeah, everybody else uses Skype. So why I have that phone number, I have no idea. Oh, the one that we never see? Huh? The one that we never see? Yeah, Tim. 
Tim, get a get a camera. You get a camera. Get get Skype and and and, uh, call and, them and, if, way. and if you hang up, you can save me nineteen. Well, you can save me essentially about eight dollars a month. Okay. Okay, my darling. What, what do you mean? Okay, my darling, you still got five minutes. No, I'm you got a five minutes suffering while I pick my uh, fingers and tell you about my latest ailments. My tooth's been bothering me today. Mm. And uh, do you know that uh, eye drops you put in? You say, D do the eye drops. You know, they get good for your eyes. Well, you haven't complained about your eyes. Yeah, but they burn for at least two hours after I put the You're stuff in. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're burning right now. Wow. And I, you remember, I did it earlier. Yeah. She gives me her leftovers. What is that? That's uh, what's it called? Restation. Well, they do it in these little vials, and they put a lot in. And when I first started taking it, there was so much. I called the company because I thought, well, maybe it, you're supposed to do morning and night out of the same one. She said the reason why they put so much in is because seniors who basically use this miss their eye. <laughs> like, I'll, get I'll, I'll miss it sometime. Yeah, yeah, I have to, but I mean... So she uses half and then she gives me the other yeah. half. How do you know maybe my eyes shouldn't be using it? Well, go see Dr. Copeland. Yeah, I should go and have my eyes checked again. Okay, my dear. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Still got another three minutes. Oh, God. Gotta suffer. Gotta suffer. Come on, let's start arguing the numbers. We gotta get the numbers up. I'm the suffering wife. Uh, no, but I mean, wh wh why do you stay married to me? Can I ask you that question? <laughs> well, isn't it, so this is it marriage? Well, the, the, but that's not the point. That's not the point. In which case, I'm just getting in a, 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 on a plane and going out to California. Well, I'm going with you. Why? Of course, we haven't been on a trip. No, no, it's not a trip. I'm doing it to get away from you. Oh, well, goodbye. Because you hate me so much. I don't hate you. Yes, you hate me. Do not. You're always complaining about me. Well. And everything has to be in the place you want it to be in the house. Because you make a mess, Alex. No, you I make don't a mess. make a mess. I've seen what you did with the blanket cover. There's spots what? all over oh, it. Oh, you I, want I, me to show you where you got a nice big brown spot on your <laughs> side? Huh? Bigger than any spot I have on my side. Anyway, it's going to be washed tomorrow. And, 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 and may, well, is a clean woman here tomorrow? No, no I'm doing it. You're doing it. Okay, well, do the one in the guest room, too, because it needs it. Uh, but no. He, 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 he. Three minutes. I'm no, coming no, over. You're not coming, yes, no, you're, yes, not, you're not coming over. Not you're not coming over. Can this marriage be saved? No, but I want to know. I want a reason why why we why we should keep this marriage going. Because you seem unhappy. The latest thing is the light in the bathroom. Hey, at 2 o'clock in the morning, yeah. when I go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. I don't want it on. You and if you on. have right, to right. use the yeah. bathroom, just turn but, the light but, but on. I will be happy to turn it off at 2 o'clock in the morning because that's when I go to sleep. But while I'm awake, I like to go in and have the so light. So you just there. flip the but light no, switch you, on. You, you want me to turn it off like while I'm on the air because you might have to get up to go to the bathroom. Not while you're on the air, but when you come out of the bathroom, turn it off. I'm going home. Uh, wait a minute, you are home. Well, I'm no, good where, where are you going? I'm good what? Home. You're leaving? Yeah. You're not even going to talk to them? No. Huh? No. You're not going to talk no. to them? Why not? Why not? Why aren't you? I don't like you anymore. You don't like me anymore. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's uh, that's the that's the that's the end of the relationship. That's it. She doesn't like me I anymore. I love you. Oh boy, and she's leaving a minute before she should. All right, here I am. Uh, huh? Here I am. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, you're you're double you're double screened there. Look at you. Is that strange? That's weird. Yeah. So anyway, uh, what? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. I'll, I'll turn on. Look, we lost people because you weren't arguing with me enough. They 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 phone they they, they phone they listen to this to feel better about their relationship. Yes, exactly. You know. Uh, let me see here. Call in. Wait a minute. I got to get everything ready here before people can call in. Okay, we are ready. Call in. The lines are open and everything. Is it a fill-free night? No. No, it hasn't been a fill-free night all all week, oh. as a matter of fact. Just feels like a fill-free huh? night. Just feels like a fill-free night. Yeah, yeah. Say that fast. Uh, fill-free fill night. Fill-free night. Fill-free night. Fill-free night. Fill free night. Fill free night. Fill free night.
Filthy night, filthy night, <laughs> filthy night. No, um, uh, last night I uh, had, uh, I asked him to recite the Star Spangled Banner if he loved it so much. What was the and thing he that we couldn't. saw Trump that was like mouthing yeah. the words of the Star Spangled yeah. Banner? Yeah, and so I had, uh, I had Ray Renati sing it and he sang it for him. He sang him. it good. Yeah, in fact, that's on our thing, uh, our little news, news break thing. Uh, let me see here. Oh, the, oh God, there, what's there's that? Phil. What's that what hat? What is the cap? Oh, this is Star a Gary Wars? Sinise cap. Oh, that's a Gary Sinise cap. Oh. Okay. Uh, don't, don't doing you, good for America. Don't you ever buy any, like, communist hats and things like that? Only you do uh, that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm waiting till you die and I inherit yours. Yeah. You got it. I'll send it to you. <laughs> All the commie hats. Yeah, this is the guy who last night could not sing or even recite the Star Spangled well, Banner. I uh, I called my friend who was on The Voice, and uh, wouldn't you know it, he sings it beautifully, and uh, he, he's uh, his allergies are up, so he's going to well, do no, it. No, I, I didn't want him calling the show. We already had a good rendition of the Star uh, Spangled uh, Banner. Have had, never had. I a don't. Rendition I like don't this. want the Star Spangled Banner two nights in a row on my show because it's a lousy fucking song. Well, it, it, at least you don't have to worry God that it's copyrighted. Say the Queen. I like the British. No, no, no. That, that's my country, tis of the... No, da, the da, are... da, 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 da. God save the Queen. No, you know, I mean, Star Spangled Banner is the only one you can do and not worry about getting turned off on YouTube. What do you mean? Uh, oh, oh, no, really? I can do America the Beautiful. Oh, I'm sure he could, too. Yeah, he does that uh, Hawaiian guy, Oz... It, it, you know, Israel... Uh, the big fat guy who dropped dead from being the big fat guy? Yeah, but... Uh, and, and it's, he, he that, it's a version you're always hearing of uh, uh, Somewhere yeah. Over the Rainbow. Yeah, he does that. He does uh, others. Uh, He's not the one that good. died with the yeah. piano but, that came but down. That, that, that's the, the, trouble, the trouble with The Voice, the show The Voice is, I can't name anybody who ever won it. Yeah, well, this guy is a plumber. And when you look at him, uh, and, you know, he'll do it on camera. When you look at him, he's about eh, 360 pounds. And uh, you know, he looks like the guy, uh, you know, Israel. Uh, I can't pronounce his last name. But, uh, uh, you know, so when he went out on the, on the uh, voice, you know, they looked at him and they couldn't believe that his voice was coming out of that him. That body. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, so, wait a minute, I got to get some soda here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spill it. No, I'm not. Good night. Oh, you're going? Yeah, it's time. Okay. That's See because you, nobody else is calling. Now you want to leave me here all alone with, with Phil. Phil. With Phil. Yeah, Phil. you're gonna have to pay the price. See uh, you, Phil. you know, you you were saying that uh, Trump is cheapening the White House. Mm -hmm. Well. Right now, there's a sale at the White House. He's selling uh, you know, nights in the uh, Lincoln bedroom. He should. I mean, Obama did. Uh, you know what he's selling also? And you were wondering about them the other night. You were saying, oh, no, those are some coins made by somebody else or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, he, no, Kim Jong -un. he had those coins made up. And guess what? He's How selling them in the White House sh uh, souvenir shop. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Was that Ivanka's idea? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? You know, hey, he's an entrepreneur. No, but I mean, I watched Obama. Obama was a classy guy and had a sense of humor, smiled a lot. You never see Trump smiling. You know, most con men have a sense of humor and smile a lot. Well, then I don't know why Trump isn't smiling. <laughs> because he's not a con man. Oh, he, was, oh, he was known as one of the he's biggest stuff done. He was known as one of the biggest con men around. For you know, around. he's doing everything he promised he'd do. Yeah, fuck up the country. Well, that's what we wanted. Yeah, big fuck up. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you went to the gym today, huh? Yeah, I went to the gym. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, are they uh, getting suspicious that you're hanging out there? No, why should they be suspicious that I'm hanging out there? Because uh, they don't know who you are. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you're, you're showing up uh, all of a sudden. You know, they're not, uh, they're not it, it, sure. I'll, I'll tell you what, there's a lack. Show ID. What there's a lack of at this gym, and I, and I don't want to sound, uh, 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 
out of step with the times, okay? Yeah. But uh, part of the reason you go to the gym is for the hot-looking babes, right? Yeah, lack of babes. Oh, there are babes there. they just not hot. Oh, then you're going to the gym that's sponsored by Walmart. Probably. <laughs> well, I mean, mine is a $15 a month gym. Yeah. Now, you know, uh, I upped that price today by buying a lock for $6. Mm. You know, in case I ever want to lock up a locker. You know. Yeah. So they don't have uh, automatic locking lockers that you just put in your own code. No, you have to bring your own locker. Uh, yeah. All right. You have to bring your own soap? Huh? Soap for the shower. You know, I don't know because I haven't taken, I don't take a shower there. Yeah. Well, right. Marjorie says you don't take a shower at home either. No, I do. I come home immediately after working out and I shower. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, so, you can't buy me. So they're cocksucker. <laughs> Yeah. No. What else you got on the agenda today? Absolutely nothing. I'm just waiting for people to call besides you so I'd have somebody to talk to. Nobody's going to call. You know, maybe we should just end the show early and then uh, what will happen is they'll, they'll see the dead air and they'll realize that, hey, next time, call. See, I have a problem function. with that dead air because I don't know. It, 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 then you've got a problem with uh, Jack. He knows how to take the show and put his on after mine. He doesn't know how to put his show on when there's no show before him. So if I sign off early, that throws him off, and I'll get a, a call from him going, what, where are you? What's happening? What you know, so. Well, at least you know you needed. Last night, I didn't even get his show recorded. No? Yeah. Why? I, I don't know. He doesn't know either. It should have it should have recorded automatically with the program yeah. he uses, but uh, he didn't. So that's why, if you listen, folks online, you aren't hearing a new show. Okay, mm. so uh, it was a good show. He was talking about cars. It was of interest to me. Really? Yeah. What about like what cars. about cars? Well, he likes classic cars, and uh, Renee, uh, it seems, is. Uh, sounded like she was in the market for a new car. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, and Amy kept taking pictures of cars and putting them up uh, on on the air. Well, you couldn't put them on the air because they don't do video. Well, oh, but we could see it. You could see it, yeah. That's why I don't show pictures on this show, because if I show them on the air, you guys can't see them. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, you want people to call in, so... They yeah. won't see it unless they call in. Well, apparently we're not getting any calls tonight. No? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's the Memorial Day weekend and all of that, so. I understand. Yeah. And that's why I wore a, um, what would you call it, a um, a hat that would demonstrate my support for. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't say anything patriotic except it's camo. No, no, it's got the Gary Sinise Foundation logo. But we don't know that. Because yeah. it doesn't it doesn't say Gary Sinise on it. Right. Oh, on the side it says it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, anyway, uh, are you there, Ray? I think. Ray, oh, here we go. Here comes Ray again. Let me see here. Uh, oh. There he is. Are you there, Ray? Hey, hey, I'm here. Yeah. Hey, hey, he's there. I didn't want you to, to sign off, so. I was at Safeway shopping, listening to you argue with your wife. Yeah, yeah. Today was uh, not a particularly good argument, you know. Yeah, but well, I it was exciting. It, it reminded me of my grandparents. Well, she's always like it, years ago. She hates everything I do. Well, that's women. Huh? Well, you know, I don't. I don't want that. I know it sucks, but that's just the way it is. It is the way it is. So we they're, go they're always going to do that. Yeah, really? So you just have to like you just f fuck yeah. You just have to like you, you would know. You have thought after honey dues. You would have thought like, after seventy eight years, about uh, oh let's say uh, sixty five of them dating women, that by yeah. now that would not be lost on me. But apparently it is. Hey, well, Ray, I'm just your, learning it now. So yeah, did her wife yell at you in French. No, she doesn't yell. French people don't yell. Like, no. if you raise your voice, Out. this, you're yelling. Uh, 
uh, no, she she used to get mad at me in French. Now she just speaks English. Yeah. Um, she can be brutal. Ooh, man. Ouch. You know, just like you, Alex, turning off the lights, leaving a mess and all that crap. Yeah, I mean, but no I'm, matter what you do, it's never going to be enough. I, I'm not no me- matter I, look, what. I am not particularly messy, but sometimes I will eat something in bed like a cookie or whatever, and a crumb will get on the bed. So yeah. I, I, I wipe the crumbs off, okay? You Very simple. And I never hear the end of it. Look how what a slob you are. And then I go over to her side of the bed, and I've been making it for the last several days. This big brown spot. I don't know. She must have dropped coffee or something. I have no idea what it was. But no, do it never I, applies to them. But do I say to her, hey, you know, there's a big spot over on your side of the bed. And that, you, know, you know, it's hitting the home because you can never trust a fart. And you think it's coffee, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what, you think this plumber can sing better than me? This fucking 500-pound plumber? This plumber has got uh, the most angelic voice. Uh, he, yeah, yeah he's, Phil he's, and his he's great... Tenor, his, but I was singing in my fake opera voice. That's not normally how I sound. I was fucking around. Yeah. But I'm uh, not on the voice either. He's, he's been uh, uh, at the Lesher Auditorium. He, he sang oh, there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he's good. By himself? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, yeah. But don't go booking my show, okay? King Lesher Auditorium. Call in on Skype and start singing. <laughs> it's, that's It'll the be the singing. <laughs> yeah. I, I said, uh, you know, give them the national anthem. And I said, I, I got, I got beat up uh, on on the net on the news today. I, uh, yeah. National anthem. Yeah, my eyes are burning today. Well, at least you stood up. Well, how's yeah. that? You you stood up when I sang, you were the only one. No no, Alex did too. Oh Alex did, and Patrick wanted to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah, a, you, the intention of standing it's, it's up. It's just a fucking, uh, you know, it's just a fucking song. You know, uh, there, there's a in the Jewish religion, also in the Christian religion, and Christ said, it, "You shall have." Uh, God said, "You shall have no idols before me," and this is idolatry. When you treat the national anthem with that kind of baseless you're looking rever- at it. Re- reverence, looking what? at it from a different, uh, from a perspective that is uh, is not accurate, uh, it's it's being proud of your country, uh, uh, well, of the people uh, uh, that have died for your country, and honoring them. No, no. Uh-huh. number one, I'm not proud of this country. Secondly, I don't feel proud for the people who have died. I feel sorry for them. That they had to die for because some people decided that a war was needed. When, well, how about uh, World War II, where uh, a war was needed? You know, mm-hmm. uh, and these uh, these uh, men and women. Well, I see. I'm all for if you want to hold a war, fine. But it's the old saying about what if you held a war and nobody came. I think that what they should do is they should uh, maybe if they want to hold a war, declare war, and then say, you volunteers, line up. And then if there are volunteers, you figure maybe the war's worth it. But when you yeah. go and you draft people and you force people to go off to those wars, uh, all I can do is feel sorry for them, not proud of them. During World War II, they had a draft, but there were tons of people that volunteered. Yes, but I'm saying that's fine. If you want to volunteer to go off to a war, you know, I perhaps during World War II, if I were old enough and uh, uh, I, uh, I, I was seeing what was happening in Germany, I would be willing to do that too. But, you know, the thing is that you say, well, what about w- World War II? And I'd say, well, yeah, if it saved Jews from going to the concentration camps, I would have been for fighting that war. But unfortunately, this country didn't give a shit about doing that. It's true, but well, there was also Jap- the Japanese. Uh, well, the, J- the Japanese they attacked Pearl Harbor, but we knew they were going to attack Pearl Harbor, and we let it happen. Yeah, we yeah. let it happen because we wanted an, an excuse to be able to. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. To, I know. Oh, yeah. that's, oh that's no, the, this is this the, the general uh, consensus. They 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 <laughs> they knew in Washington that it was going to happen because the day before the Japanese delegation in Washington packed their bags and left town. Okay. Truman so, wanted a reason to use the bomb. It, not to use the bomb. We didn't have that yet. But yeah. but uh, but uh, Roosevelt wanted an excuse to get it, because Americans. Didn't, I was talking about later. Okay, Sorry. Americans didn't want to go to the war in Europe. They were 
pure, uh, absolutely against it because they'd just gotten off another war, the Great War. One. Uh, well, in those days, it was called the Great War because there was no World War I because there was no World War II. So they called it the Great War. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they just come off the Great War, and they were very opposed to any intervention anywhere else in the world that would send people off to war again. Kind of like uh, Trump. Let me just finish what I'm saying. Learn it's a true. little something here. So uh, uh, Roosevelt, if he had uh, said, well, I want to go to war in Europe, the public would have just gone, fuck you, you know. Fuck you, you wheelchair-bound asshole, you know. Uh, and uh, they would have, um, uh, so he needed an excuse. And when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, there, the, the excuse was there. And as long as we were arming, let's go over to Europe as well. And there, of course, is the Disney dog again. What's the dog's name? Foxy. Boxy? Foxy. Oh, Foxy. Like F yeah, Foxy. Oh, I see. Is it, is it a she? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you you You're are supportive of an all volunteer army, and it was a Republican, Richard yeah. Nixon, who created the volunteer army and eliminated the draft. Uh, uh, he eliminated. He did not eliminate the draft during Vietnam. He eliminated the draft the week of June nineteen, uh, June twentieth, nineteen seventy two. Uh, the last lottery. I was 18 on June 24th. Okay, but my question is, how, how, when was the war in Vietnam over with? 74. Because I, I seem to remember that it, they, they, the draft still was going, and if it wasn't still going, a good reason why it wasn't still going is that so many Americans, it was dividing America so badly. That I they, was the last lottery, <laughs> and my lottery didn't count. I was number 64. That meant that I was going to Vietnam, but that week, that lottery didn't count, and that was the last lottery the week of June 20th, yeah. 1972. By the well, way, I'm looking at it right now. It was January 27th, 1973. When? The end of the... Of the, the, last, the last draft. The last draft, and well, the war yeah, in Vietnam what ended was, when? What? The war in Vietnam ended oh, when? Oh, well, I mean... That, 74. So, uh, so really, for the most part, the last draft lottery. I I know was the week. Okay, of my but what I'm don't you understand what I'm saying is that seventy five. It 30th, got to the 1975. point where there were so many protests in this country and so on that they had to do something to stop that. And by ending the draft, they brought they at least silenced a lot of people. No, but they were winding the war down. And because winding they were doing the that, war, they didn't need winding the, the war down. We were finding a way to get out. We were trying to find well, the exit. Well, we, yeah, we had the uh, exit uh, in uh, Paris. Uh, repeat, repeat, uh, these, repeat these words after me, Phil. We lost the Vietnam War. Uh, no. Yes, we did. <laughs> We did. They, they ran over the whole country. I, I, know, I remember I, the day. I know. I know you don't. I know you don't want to believe that, and neither do all the parents <laughs> we, who we lost who Vietnam lost kids the in there. Lost but the but war. it was ah! it, it, there was fifty nine thousand American men and women who died in a useless war. We have to admit that to ourselves. The only way. Well, it's the only way we, we're going to get better. Hello, we, Mr. Ritter. How are you this evening? Hello. Yeah. This asshole's still blathering on like he normally does so. yeah well at least i resisted the communist onslaught you, know. you resisted what? i you know i served in the navy yeah uh, yeah and i and i served in it during at the beginning of the vietnam war so i'm considered a vietnam vet yeah yeah. Well, got you. So got three fuck you and any of your political feelings. Mind Trump yours, so to speak. Well, I'm glad you like Trump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how are you? Uh, how are you, uh, Chris? What's new? Uh, not much. Just uh, went from Nevada to California today, and Memorial Day, and uh, I got a lot of neighbors up here who are veterans. So I'll probably listen to their stories and find out what's going on with them yeah you were yeah. you were um uh, you're in vegas but now then you also live in la right as well uh no it's about 100 miles east of la in the mountains up here oh wow so 
I'm about 7,200 feet up right now. And you and you have and you have uh, uh, internet service, right? Uh, oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. Where, where are you about, up there? Uh, Big Bear. There's about oh, Big Bear. Yeah. 8,000 residents, and then we probably have another 5,000 tourists coming up this week. Well, you must have awfully good internet service because you've got a great picture, and it's not stuttering yeah. or doing anything. It looks clear. Yeah. You know. Well, it's a, a lot of people go to Big Bear all the time, and it's, it's like ski. Uh, it's a, the, there's a ski resort. There's all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff to do. I'm in the sure summer, that's probably right? why it's he has Mini good, Lake Tahoe. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm sure that's why he has good internet services because the the people who run those hotels and stuff want good internet service. Oh. So, so you have you have a home there? Yeah, we have a little shack up here, and we uh, you know work on it. work from home basically. We uh, we can be anywhere. Yeah, but we were in Chicago for 30 days over the Christmas and big road trip. Went across and saw a bunch of cool things. You know, I love the road trips. So, I, see, I, uh, yeah, you know, there's so much to see. There's no, six ways to go to Chicago. I, I, you know? Obviously, you have a wife, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have children? No. Oh, no. so the two of you can just go on little trips and say, fuck all. We're free to go yeah. anywhere we want we to just go. have friends with kids who complain about them all the time and we still are jealous a little but they complain all the time parents nowadays they just seem to hate their kids well so. you know i've never had i've never had children yeah uh, although i think i had one but i'm not sure yeah. uh, but um it was when i was very young and uh, they decided yeah. to put it up for adoption and in those days it was a blind adoption there's no way i could find it Mm -hmm. But anyway, that being the case, I really have never had any kids that I can put a name on, okay? Uh -huh. They can yeah. adopt the last wonderful name of Schwarzman. Uh, right. And uh, uh, Marjorie has never had kids. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we are two people who at this age have, have not had kids, not because we couldn't, but because yeah. we didn't. Yeah, there's yeah. enough kids. Shakespeare didn't have kids, so. Yes, he did. He had three. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, I've been lying to myself all these years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really? I, I yeah. Because I, he, I even I, he didn't pay attention to them. He oh, left okay. them. Right. And went to London. He went out but, for cigarettes and wrote some plays and <laughs> had someone else write some plays for him. But, yeah. Uh, he, yeah. And then he came. He, you know, he'd come back once in a while, and then he came back uh, just before he died. But he yeah. had a son who died. His name was Hamnet, uh -huh. which is which is where he got the name for the play Hamlet. Okay, I forgot all. I had to know this, but I forgot it. Yeah. Really? Now you see, yeah. I, I, I often wondered: Do we know that much about Shakespeare? I mean, it's almost like with Christ. I mean, did Christ really exist? No, no, we know, you know we know a lot about Shakespeare. We do know a lot about Shakespeare. Yeah, now, yeah. The whole thing about not knowing anything is bullshit. Now, what about the 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 rumors that he was really another playwright altogether? Now, that that's ridiculous. I can't remember I don't know. the name of the other. No, that, a, I've done a ton of research on it. That's so just other ridiculous. people had to. They, they and I and, I, and I, 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 I even went to Stratford upon Avon. There's all kinds so of today. evidence all over the place. Like his his father was a tanner, mm -hmm. and um, the thing that Shakespeare knows most about when he talks about the working class are yeah. tanners in his plays, and everything he says there is precisely correct. Everything else he makes all kinds of mistakes about. Um, yeah. He knows everything about tanning, and 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 there are like fifty something references in his plays. He was also bad at dry cleaning because he just felt that by saying "out out damn spot" would make it go away. You know. So. Yeah. No, that was violent. Well, that was a woman. So. Yeah. No, it's it kind of like the spot on your bed. It's like Marjorie. You should just be out out damn spot. One was it? He said <laughs> out vile jelly. And he guy says, "Well, I can still see through the other eye," and he says. Him in the eye. My favorite line the, in yeah. all of Shakespeare mm -hmm. uh, is the is in Hamlet because it shows how dirty Hamlet could get in his plays now and then. And uh, he said um, he says to uh, what what was her name? Is Desdemona who who is uh, who is the woman in Hamlet? Uh, 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 was, it, was, it, was it Desdemona? I think so. Yeah. To look it up. I can't believe I'm forgetting. Said, well, yeah. he said, Lady, may I lie in thy lap? And she says, But sire. And he says, Nay, I did not mean country matters. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. He had all, he has all kinds of stuff like that. 
Yeah. Have you been to Ashland recently, or you get up there as much as you can? Or I haven't been recently, but I need to go. I got there last August. It was a lot of fun. Just Ophelia. To... Yeah. Ophelia. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Where, who's where's Desdemona from? I wonder. Uh, Othello. Uh, uh, yes, Othello. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So the outvile jelly is that King Lear? I don't remember. You know when it, when he sticks his thumb in the guy's eye? Uh, maybe. Uh, Excuse me, folks. Yeah, but, it's uh, we, it's last, uh, a couple of nights ago, we were talking about bi how big is your father's dick, and tonight we're talking about uh, uh, Hamlet and Shakespeare. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had a Hamlet this morning. You know what I always used to say, uh, and uh, and and some people have agreed with me on this, uh, and that was that the modern ha the modern Shakespeare was Tennessee Williams. That he wrote in the same kind of prose. That there was, a, a, and if if you even look at Tennessee Williams, he looks a little bit like Shakespeare. Well, Shakespeare wrote in iambic pentameter, yeah. which is bum 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 mostly. Yeah, and you know he doesn't. Tennessee Williams doesn't do that. Well, but he, his uh, he writes. He writes in free his imagery. Is similar. He writes in free prose. If you if you if you uh, uh, listen to yeah. him, it, it there's it's very melodic. Yes, it is. You know, it so is. I mean, I always compared him to being the modern Shakespeare. However, his subject matter was different. He didn't, where Shakespeare always wrote about basically great people or people who had status. Um, uh, Tennessee Williams always wrote about, in some cases, rednecks, you know, and people yeah. who didn't have anything. Failed great so people. I mean, in terms of genius, in terms of genius, I think the equivalent is Stephen Sondheim. Well, that's that's different though. He's a he, he wrote music, but he but he writes the lyrics and the mu But the thing with Sondheim's music is, is it fits the moment in a way that Shakespeare's language fits the moment. Like the the language informs what's happening in that moment, and Stephen Sondheim's lyrics and and his. And, and, and the music precisely fit exactly what Sondheim wanted wants to express, and sh that's exactly what Shakespeare did. Like, there's never any question. Sondheim's music, uh, uh, Sondheim is incredible, uh, just absolutely incredible. But I yeah. do think, when it comes to playwrights, I still say I think the best playwright of the 20th century was Tennessee Williams. Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I think know. you're right. I mean, I I overall, yeah, I loved his work. I did. I read everything that he ever wrote. And I just, I, in fact, I even saw him act in one of his own plays off Broadway. Uh, in fact, I met him uh, when, he, when he, I was having dinner at Abby Hoffman's house, and Abby said, we're going to have a special guest for, after dinner, and in walks Tennessee Williams. Yeah. And uh, I just... I, He's creepy. I, I almost peed my pants, and he came in with two young boys. Yes. And he then sat on the, uh, on the floor... Uh, Abby was sitting in a chair. He sat on the floor at Abby's feet and looked up at him and said, tell me about the revolution, Abby. Yeah. And I thought, he's fucking Blanche Dubois. This, he, when he wrote Bl Blanche Dubois, he was writing his own voice. Yes. And these, young, and these young boys, and I remember you talking about that years ago, and I wanted to talk to you because I have a friend who was one of those young boys uh, and he used to hang out at, at, at his house. And yeah. there were always young boys there, Michael Jackson style, all the time. Now, now there were two things about him that I also <laughs> know. He went to, I can't remember what the hospital was, the one in Minnesota, the clinic. Uh, Mayo? Uh, Mayo Clinic. And they claimed that they could cure him of his homosexuality. These were in the days where they had this idea you could cure homosexuality. Yeah. And he and he always felt guilty about being gay. He was it was in fact the play I saw him do off Broadway. He does a whole speech about how horrible it is to be a homosexual. Uh, and and anyway, um, they um, uh, they put him through this whole thing where he supposedly they cured him of his homosexuality or he thought they did. Never wrote another good play after that. You know. And my idea is, if you're a shrink, do not, when you when you have a creative person, don't fuck with the very thing that makes him creative. 
you know. It may be a great deal of pain that makes him creative, but you do away with that. And, and when this guy was writing at his height, there, he, he was incredible. He was oh, his just, plays are just beautiful. Yeah. Just poetic, beautiful plays with, ama- with incredible stories. And oh. he, overall, he, I, I agree with you, Alex. I mean, he just turned one, and all of his, and he has one act plays and two act plays. And I well, mean, he just was he, prolific. He has, he has a, uh, he has a, uh, <clears throat> a, a play called Camino Real. It's pronounced Camino Real, not Camino Real. Uh, yeah. And it is an it's an amazing abstract play. It's a great play about a, a, you know the play. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I studied it, it in, intricately. One, probably yeah. one of his least performed, uh, but just a wonderful play. And but uh, what I heard was that originally when he wrote Streetcar Named Desire, it was about guys. It wasn't about a guy and a woman and her sister. Mm. It was about three guys. And it was a play about homosexuals, basically. And that uh, when he took it to whoever he took it to to try and sell it to Broadway, they said, we're not ready for this. So he changed uh, one of the characters to Blanche Dubois, and the thing still read pretty much the same as it as it as it read that's what i heard now i don't know if that's true in fact i I, I should ask my friend jack garfine uh if that if if what i heard is true because i have no idea yeah i wonder if your friend knows my friend here because my friend hung out with tennessee at tennessee williams house for months at a time years ago yeah 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 uh, anyway so we're, we're yeah when i when i was a young actor uh the check check the box list was Shakespeare, Arthur Miller, and Tennessee Williams. Yeah, and I, I got cast in a Tennessee Williams play in Foster City, and he died during rehearsal, and we lost somehow they lost the rights because of the estate, so they ended up doing uh, the Mandrake route instead, which is kind of public domain, I think. But uh, so you know you so I was like, ah, oh, I didn't get my Williams, but I got one a couple years later. So was that at Hillbarn? Yeah, Hillbarn. They uh, they did the Mandragola instead, but uh, uh, but I wanted to do that Williams, you know. So Chris uh, and I have. By the way, you mentioned of, you uh, mentioned mentioned Arthur Miller, right? Uh, an- yes. Another absolutely incredible playwright. I mean, there's maybe no better play in the American theater than The Crucible. I mean, well, it, I it, think it, the death of death of a salesman. death of a salesman is terrific. But there's something. All my about, sons is pretty good too. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, he, I feel he, like all my sons is a, like a warm up. He to was death terrific. Of a if you like death of a salesman, I'm surprised you haven't uh, looked into that uh, David Mamet. Uh, Mamet, that right, Mamet. that yeah. right wing uh, asshole. Well, no, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Now you oh. said you hadn't seen the movie, but uh, I've never, that, I've never Glenn seen Gary Glenn Ross was an adaptation of David Mamet. Mammoth. Play. Mammoth. Uh, if you say Mammoth again, I'm going to puke. Nuclear. <laughs> Hello, Bree. How are you? you uh, hey, I got to go take a look. I, I got to tell you something. I was looking, Bree. Uh, I got, yeah. you know, I have an Apple TV, 4K Apple TV. I have two of them, actually. Oh. And, and they have these screen savers that come on. That are full screen and just beautiful because they're in 4K of various flyovers over certain places, kind of in slow motion, you know. And uh, uh, there are a bunch of them. One is the Sands of Dubai, uh, that is just gorgeous. Wow. But the one that just amazes me is a nighttime shot of Dubai and then a flyover going towards what's that building with the sharp top on it? Uh, Burj Khalifa. What's it called again? Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. That town looks like the city of the future. You know, if you were to do a science fiction movie and you were to say, okay, here's the, here's the city of the future. They have. It would look like that. Well, that's this is where Star Trek is, you know, the latest Star Trek is made. Oh, really? Yeah, they don't have to change it very much. They don't have to do any CGI. I mean, I looked at this. I was got to be CGI. This looks, it's incredible. And you got those fountains. Yeah, that go yeah. up the like the fountains in Vegas, the uh, the dancing yeah. waters. I mean, it's just well, amazing. They have a, 
they have a goal, I think I've mentioned before, to be 10. They want to be one decade ahead of everyone else. So 10 years out. So whatever, whatever the latest greatest is in the world, they want to be 10 years beyond that. Yeah. So how come when I look at this picture, I'm seeing a ceiling that's just your normal ceiling tiles and it doesn't look like you're in any kind of exotic terrain? Well, is that the way? Because I'm in my office. Oh, okay. But I mean, is that the way offices look in Dubai? I mean, there's nothing modern about. They look them? any. They look many, many different ways. Yeah. That's his course, it's anywhere else, you know. And yeah. it's Saturday morning. I shouldn't really be here, but uh, I don't know. You, you never. You ever know? Like I haven't checked in for a while. Um, sometimes I get on this streak where it's really hard for me to get up in the morning, and I don't want to get up. Right. And then. Like now, I'm waking up at 5 a.m. and I'm ready to go. I can't figure it out. Is it because the sun comes up earlier? No. No. Where I live in a, where I mean I have, where my bedroom is. There's no uh, uh, outside lighting. Oh, okay. So I can make it pitch dark. So that wouldn't be affecting me. I find um, I'm getting older, Bree, that I'm sleeping less, uh, mm -hmm. and and I have this CPAP machine. It tells me how long I slept. Uh, so in the morning, I look and I say, "Geez, I really only slept for." Two how hours. does it know? How does it record your sleep? Uh, it's a, it's a smart one, and what it does is it figures out based on the uh, breathing. And so uh, you're wearing it, or yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, you wear it over your nose. If, uh, I, it, if it, I ever have to use a CPAP machine, please strange. kill me. Well, what it does is it forces air into your uh, uh, throat, and so it keeps yeah. your throat okay. open. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is really gasping. this is really interesting. Yeah. Okay. CPAP. Well, by the way, we're losing audience like crazy because we're talking about the theater, and we're talking about CPAP machines. What yeah. did we talk about that gets people? I forgot. Boners and farts. Boners yeah. and farts get the numbers to go up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, and so, porn. Uh, well, not so much that, but like, um, oh, oh, I don't know. Um, Technical issues that uh, when you have problems, that gets Oh, if, if this were oh, all yeah. break down and I have to fix it and I can't figure out what's wrong, oh, all of a sudden people will start watching. Well, let's do that. Also, do one that. of the reasons we don't have a lot of people watching tonight is, guess what? Memorial Day weekend. Ah, uh, See? Yeah. yeah. You're not here. And you don't have that here. I know you don't have that there. Where no, are you? He's, he's in Dubai. It's wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the funny part about Skype, or, or the unfunny part about it, is that if, if it's Renee or it's you, uh, Ray, or it's Bree, it doesn't matter where they're calling from. It all looks like they're next door. Oh, it's amazing. You know? I mean, it's amazing. Look, look at look at Bree. He's there. He's in Dubai. I can't even find Dubai on a fucking map. You know. <laughs> it's next. It's next. It's next to Mumbai. No, Mumbai. No, is no in Mumbai India. is India. I'll be in, yeah, I'll be in India next month. <laughs> Mumbai. Uh, Mumbai. Two weeks. Mumbai <laughs> used to be. Um, um, Bombay. Bombay. Didn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, I like Bombay better. Yeah, but they, you know, the guys when you talk to them on the phone and you're looking for help, they, they don't want you to know where really where they're at. So they oh. make the city. I, I am in St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Johnny Five. So let me let me ask you, Bree, since we got you now. Uh, 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 what uh, any anybody talking about what's going on here in the United States and what's going on with uh, our president and. It doesn't really get discussed much here at all. It doesn't affect you. Um, the only the only thing that we hear about is uh, they like the fact that he's being tough on Iran again mm -hmm. because the uh, the policy here, uh, the UAE and Saudi Arabia are very close, and, uh, and they have a couple yeah. yeah they have situations where they think iran is meddling so they feel that if he's tougher on iran you know this will be a good thing so that that's mainly what we hear anything do, to deal with the iranian deal 
we do hear about that. But how do they but feel about the fact that without an Iranian deal, they might go back to building nuclear devices again? They're not going to let them do. Uh, well, no, yeah, who's not going to let them do? They they're not going to let them do that. But right. who's not going to let them do it? The Israelis. Uh, what are yeah. they going to do? They're going to bomb them. That's because. Needed. Okay, now my question is. Doesn't Iran have the right to defend themselves? And don't they have the right to have the same kind of defenses well, that is Israel, who is their prime enemy, has? No. I, I generally do agree <laughs> yeah, with that, I get it, but, you? <laughs> uh, you know, Iran has in some ways uh, shown in some times that they're not able to uh, sort of go with the international flow. Uh, you know, and they, they create oppositional situations that others would prefer that they don't. So uh, this is the thinking on that. Well, on the other hand, though, you had a prime minister there who pretty much was for the deal, promoted the deal, and went along with the deal. And now that this is all happening, uh, his job is in jeopardy. And he was the one person who had some real common sense there you know the ayatollah has basically his common sense is basically a dogmatic religious zealot zealous zealousness yeah. uh but uh, the prime minister there was uh he was you know he was copacetic and that's why we got the deal in the first place but now that it's falling apart people are saying he should drop out we should get a more hardliner in there <laughs> And that could yeah. it, that that's the, what makes the situation so dangerous by getting out of there. What I hear is that the people who live there, most of them, don't support uh, the aggressive tactics of the mullahs and the ayatollahs. And where do you hear that? Well, I hear it on the news. Where, where, oh, really? Well, that same news you don't believe? There, there, there's certainly a faction. Yeah. You know, you know. So I guess the difficulty is determining what percentage you know, is thinking what, and how do you, how do you pull that, and then how do you, and a, how do you act on that, uh, so it's difficult. There's One a very, the let, me, let me mention, there's also, Phil, a very large part of, uh, of uh, the population of Israel who doesn't like what, Menah what uh, Netanyahu right. is doing in his philosophy, and would like to get him out of office, so, you know, anywhere you yes, go, you're going to, you're going to have an opposition yeah, I think that large part of Israel that has that opposition is called the Palestinians. No, you're wrong, Phil. It's young people. Young yeah. people who don't feel that 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 uh, Netanyahu's ideas are good ideas or safe ideas for Israel. Well, it's uh, you think that it's safe to do nothing. No, and, no, that's uh, not what they're saying. They're just saying they feel his approach is is, is a bad approach. Well, they've used they've used different approaches uh, with the palace in the Palestinian question for the last seventy years, and it hasn't gotten them anywhere. Give the Palestinians yeah, sometimes it's bulldozers, sometimes it's rockets, sometimes yeah, it's sniping. Yeah, yeah, give the Palestinians a homeland that they can call their own, and I think they'll uh, uh, they'll 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 give them Jordan. quiet Let's down. See, you know, you know give them no, Jordan. but no, but I mean they got their land stolen from them originally, and they have and that that. That resentment has remained ever since. I think they are being used as pawns. No, they're not being used as pawns. By whom? These, By the are, these are people who were forced into the uh, desert, kids who were raised starving and have a hatred, a hatred for the, uh, for the Jewish that, state that because hatred. of the way they felt their their lives were handled by that Jewish state. That, that, that hatred existed long before the Jewish state. No, it did not. No, it did if not, you read that book, Hitler's Mufti. Uh, 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 good, you can go read any fucking book you want to that, 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 that lives up to what you, your, your, your uh, fucking this, fucked up this, beliefs are. But wait a minute, but hold on. The fact was the Arabs got the, uh, the uh, Islam, uh, Islamic people and the Jews for years got along beautifully. In, in fact, uh, there was almost uh, there were the Jews in uh, in that part of the country in that part of the world uh, almost didn't consider themselves Jews. They had another term for themselves, uh, and and they got along fine. 
until yeah. uh, you know, until this, until this whole you know the uh, what's his name. Uh, I think you're not aware of. Uh, I'm aware of every story. inch of that situation, Phil. I'm no, much I've more aware of it, and uh, much more reading on it than you ever have. Yeah. Yes, Ray. I mean, could you imagine living in an area and then all of a sudden, the the Western world decides, okay, we're going to carve a country out of this whole area, and you're going to be second class citizens, and now all these white people from Europe are going to move in. Yes, and you United have States. What? It's called the United States, and the, uh, the now you're just now you're just diverting. Well, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, you're too, diverting. But now you're, just you're diverting the, the discussion, subject. Phil. Stick to no, the no, no, discussion. No, no, because I just said it's something so truthful. It's so terrible that uh, the Jews from uh, that were displaced from around the world went to is went to Palestine, and and formed a country. And that you know, in the United and States. And why did they go to Palestine, Phil? Why, 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 why did they go to Palestine? Because nobody else wanted. Them. No. Why did they go to? Why did they choose Palestine? Why didn't they choose Brooklyn? Come on. Why did they choose Palestine, Phil? They they weren't being let into Brooklyn. No, first no, of no, all. no, no. I, that's not the point. I said why Palestine? Uh, because that's where they were sent. You know, they, no, they, that wasn't where they were sent, Phil. They got in boats and went there on their own. Why did they go to Palestine? 400 people, and they had the movie Exodus. No, but not now. Were, now you're diverting again, discussing and answering the no, question no, no, with a joke, with a fucking own, joke. That they, on their own, got on a boat and went to Palestine. And I'm saying, yes. No, this, because you had uh, a, a, a guy who created a thing called the Zionist movement, and the Zionist philosophy was back to Israel, back to Palestine. Palestine is our homeland, and that's the and reason they went there. Up until um, uh, Theodore Herzl, was his name, uh, created Zionism, there wasn't even that notion. They always considered themselves Europeans. Yeah. Well, the Jews were uh, citizens of the world. They've been thrown out of every uh, every country that they've ever well, lived in. Why did they become well, doctors uh, and lawyers and merchants? Because they could, uh, and with diamond merchants, for instance, because they could take jewelry and they could jewelry, take their knowledge. Jewelry, hmm? jewelry. And they could take their knowledge and they could live anywhere in the world because they knew, even in Europe, they weren't allowed to own land. That's why Jews don't have family crests. You know? uh, really? Yeah. I, I'm, all I was saying, Phil, was that from the point of view of the Palestinians, you know, everything's copacetic, and then all of a sudden, you have all these people moving in, creating a country, and, you know, pushing them out of where they live. Um, I mean, just, that, would be hard, that would be hard for anybody to live with, I would think. Uh you know, uh, no, I, I could no, I could say shit happens, but uh, it, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles. You know, okay, but, but no, that, but that wasn't a cookie crumbling, uh, Phil. That was that was a determination by the United Nations of what should happen to the Palestinian people. What they wanted to do was to get the fucking Jews off their back. That's what right, they so wanted to do. The United so Nations, they came up with a, the they came, the Israelis. I didn't say it was the fault of the Israelis. I was just saying all I was saying was look at it from the point of view of the Palestinians. Yeah. You get dis I mean, you get displaced. What the fuck do you expect, Phil? Hey. By the I, way, hello I, to Charlene. You know, you don't like what aboutisms, but I'm saying it <laughs> happened in this country. And it of happened course it, in it many is awful countries. What ha I mean, what, what happened in this country? Uh, the uh, the people from Europe came over to this country, displaced the American Indians, and uh, treated them as second class citizens. And, and and we still are, and and right. and the ones that still are holding on to their uh, Native American status live on horrible um, reservations. You would not believe. I've been to the Navajo reservation three times. It's like a third world country in the middle of this country. People don't even know it's there. By no the way, we've been. It's incredible. No. I'm talking about like Navajo Nation is huge. People yeah, live in in metal yeah. dirt uh, shacks with dirt floors, and you think you are in the worst part of Mexico. By the way, first first of all, what are you showing us there, Bree? You're showing us uh, nice new high rise. Some I'm of the high sure. rises. Yeah. yeah, yeah, beautiful. Totally looks like it's out of a 
science fiction. Oh yeah, all, all all your stuff in in Dubai looks like it's yeah. out of a science fiction movie. Hello to Vernon Nunn. Vernon, turn your camera on. Hey. Uh, I'm attempting to. Uh, okay, oh, Alex. I yeah. was going to say when you had commented on the desert sands in that photograph that you yeah. saw. Yeah. It's because the desert sands there there are certain things you need in photography, and one of them is pattern. And you get uh, an, an enormous <laughs> amount of pattern uh, from from the sands and from what happens in the wind. Yeah, you well, need the, the, these, these oh, are these are true. these are actual videos. And what amazed me was the building we were talking about, the Khalifa or whatever the, the Burj yeah. Khalifa. Uh, the the what was amazing about it was uh, is is the lighting on it, which mm. just uh, the lights are going everywhere, flashing. Did you see did you see the lighting on the uh, picture of the building that uh, uh, we just saw from Dubai uh, that yeah. Bree uh, showed I, us? I've it, seen it was, that building in that in that video. Uh, he in he showed it without the lights on, and then another shot with yeah, the lights on. It yeah. looked like green glass. Yeah, uh, it's beautiful. Hello, yeah. Vernon. You're spinning around. We got a problem there, Vernon. Can you hear us, Vernon? I'm still getting used to the Skype on the phone here. Oh, you're using a phone. I see. That's why it's spinning around. It's I, not... I've done this before. I'm just not sure how to turn the camera on. Oh, oh yeah. Well, it's, it, well, it's, it's whirling it's around cool. like it's looking for the camera. So, you know. But, oh, Alex? Yes. Go yes. Up and then turn it on again. Yes, Charlene. You can hear me? Yeah. I, I just want to say... I have always depended upon the kindness of strangers. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. Little Tennessee Williams. Little Tennessee Williams. I think you're right that he was Blanche Dubois, right? Yeah, he was yeah. Blanche Dubois. Della. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Um, Vernon Nunn shared a photo. I didn't see a photo, but I'll assume that uh, he you shared You have to probably photo. look at that thing on the right. Yeah. Um well, he's using his phone, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. but it's a snapshot, he it's said. Our, it's us. Of our screen. Yeah, it's our screen. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, oh, a, it's a screenshot of us. Really? I don't ha oh, oh, really? Let me oh, see. Oh, my God, here. my mouth is open. I'm in the middle of I have of to go here. Well, to it's unfair to freeze people in the middle of a sentence, you know. I, you know, when you, when you take a, you know, because you can catch them in, in terrible let me yeah. see here. It's like kicking oh, there we go. See, folks, land. that's what they're talking about. It's is, a fun thing to do. Is, is uh, that? <laughs> Did you know that a lot of Palestinians live in Israel and work there? I mean, a lot, and uh, you know, and and do fine. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I. I mean, I knew that like 20 years ago, but I didn't know that before then. The there is a huge Palestinian population in Israel. Oh, in the Israel, problem, yeah, absolutely. You want to throw rocks and stab people in the neck. Well, that's those are the ones outside. Those are the ones. Well, they outside. tried. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that the the solution to the Jewish problem back in 1948 was a clumsy answer, and it was not well thought out. And it was well, done. And it was done because there was a lot of pressure on the part of uh, of, of the UN to do something because they were there. They, they were at the doorstep. You know, they needed. They they wanted in and. Uh, they felt they had to do something about it. So well, the, the big problem now is that a lot of these these Zionists they go and they're occupying these lands, and that's what's really pissing people off. Yeah, I mean they're just taking more and more and more. They right. no, they gave up the Gaza Strip, the Sinai Peninsula. I know, uh, you know, uh, because they, they thought it was they crap. gave land for peace, and what happened? Uh, you know, they were attacked by thousands of rockets from Gaza. Yeah. And and Hamas took Gaza over. Well, I thought that I thought that the Israelis are always expanding. There's a whole group of Israelis that are always occupying new lands. Yeah. There is uh, there is territory that they won in the '67 war that they uh, that many people uh, still try to settle and create these Israeli settlements. And, and that's what antagonizes everyone. No. It's anything that they do is going to antagonize. It, Israel has not tried to get. Israel has not really tried to get along with their neighbors. Okay, and, and you got and a guy. And you got a guy. Drive you, them you, into you, the Red you, Sea. You got. A, you, got you, you got. Uh, you got uh, Netanyahu, who's Trump's butt buddy. Uh, you know, in there continuing Thank to God. make trouble. 
Uh, Thank goodness. Hello, hello, Vernon. How are you this evening? We can see you. Your picture is beautiful. Uh, and uh, welcome to our fine program. Thanks for coming to us on this Memorial Day weekend. Looks very relaxed. He, he looks very relaxed, yes. Yeah. I am very relaxed. Oh, in my, uh, oh, well, you're, oh, 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 can, can, is there any way you can turn your microphone down? It's really loud <laughs> and distorted. Uh, it's, it's distorted. Uh, uh, it, that better? Oh, much, much better. better, much better. Yeah, before and we're uh, looking up at you, so you look very kingly. Yes. Yeah. I could I could move the No oh now you're not kingly yeah, but now you're not kingly any longer. <laughs> it's a man. <laughs> but now my arms are just tired holding the phone up. No, go back yeah. to kingly. It's yeah. like, you look like Lear, like King Lear. There you go. Yeah, yeah. you need a selfie stick. But let's face it. We were talking about uh Shakespeare a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, did yeah. we ever find out who uh what was it, Hamlet's wife or what was it? Hamlet's wife? Oh, Oph uh, Hamlet's Ophelia's wife. girlfriend. He, Ophelia. His main squeeze. Yeah, the one he... Yeah. Get thee to a nunnery. Yeah. I've told you already, get thee to a nunnery. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't Shakespeare make fishing pole? What? Didn't he what? I thought Shakespeare was in the fishing pole business. You know, no. you know what I mean? fishing rods. You know what I got to do? I got to um, when I uh, next time I talk to Jack, I had lunch with him yesterday. The next time I talk to him, even when I have him here finally to tell us about the rest of his life, he knew Tennessee Williams, and so I should ask mm. him a little bit about that part. Of me. He's also this. He is the only guy I know who know who knew intimately both Millers, Arthur, Arthur and Henry. Oh, wow. yeah. You know, I met Arthur Miller, and I had a I had a ten minute conversation with him about twenty five years ago. Yeah, and it was I'll never forget. He was, I, a, he was giving autographs at San Jose State University, and I was the last one in line. They were having a two week Arthur Mel Miller celebration, and I was the last one in line. And uh, we shook hands. He signed a copy of um, A View from the Bridge for me, and mm -hmm. we were just it was just him and I in the gym talking. About death of a salesman because I got to play Biff and he was talking about the character and he was the nicest guy. Uh, and um, you know, I, it, 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 I always had wondered why Marilyn Monroe had married this nerd. You know, but Did he's you see those pictures? No, he was not only nice; he's strikingly handsome. Like even when he was 80 years old, he was like, "Okay, now I get it." <laughs> And really tall and strong. It was like, you know, "Okay, those pictures words. don't do him justice." Well. Um, mm -hmm. um, yeah, he uh, there's a great documentary on him on HBO on Arthur Miller. If you if you have HBO Go, go find it. It it is just oh. it's I called something Arthur Miller, something Miller, and it it is just it it, it was a thing that I I had always been kind of like I never paid a lot of attention to Arthur Miller. I mean I knew Death of a Salesman, and I knew um, uh, the Crucible, and then I watched this documentary, and I really got this appreciation of him like I never had before. The documentary but, called "It's Miller's Time." It's Miller time. No, no. Oh, Phil, please. Please, Phil. Enough of these silly jokes. Uh, uh, it, it, he, uh, but I, but I think to me, the Crucible is singularly great because of the time that it was created and the reason it was created which is it was a slam against the McCarthy era against the House Un-American Activities subcommittee of which he was called to yeah. and he wrote this play which got on Broadway and got performed everywhere and made a point but nobody realized that it was about exactly that subject okay yeah. because the Salem witch trials were identical identical to what was going on with the House Un-American Activities Subcommittee and not too dissimilar to the um, to the uh, Me Too movement going on right now in which people are accused of things and then they're automatically guilty whether there's a trial or whether they're you know, given the benefit Alex, of a trial. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to hear about this a lot now that Harvey Weinstein has given himself up and everything. I, 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 I'm like going to I'm going to make a a prediction at least on these these particular instances. Skates. He's going to skate. Yeah. Oh, you think? Oh yeah, I think so. I uh -huh. think because I know what their defense is going to be. They've already pretty much stated it, and the defense is going to be 
the casting couch was a regular thing in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. It was a way of doing business. And these women knew that. Been. And the, these women wanted a part from Harvey, so they blew him. Okay. They, they were willing participants. Willing participants. Mm -hmm. Because he, you know, now I would agree with anybody who would say he was using his power to get laid. I not, don't please don't write me and tell me that I'm a, a sexist pig because I don't think that what Harvey did was right. But this is going to be his defense. And when he puts it in, those, it parses it in that way, uh, you know, you have to talk about whether it may have been consensual, but the woman felt she had to do it in order to get a part or to get and curry the favor of Harvey Weinstein. That in of itself is wrong to use that kind of power. But the fact that she submitted to it, if they can just prove that she didn't, you know, she didn't put, he didn't hold her down and she put up a fight, then I think he may skate on that whole thing. And so you then know, rape would be the wrong word then. Then well, rape would be the wrong accused. word. They, they haven't accused him of, I don't think the term yeah, used in yeah, the that was Yeah, uh, that a rape and uh, what, forceful oral copulation. What, no, was it rape or was it uh, forceful the hell, right? whatever? It was two the newspaper women. said rape. There's two different women. Wait a minute. One, I, 2003, have, I, I, my, I one from have it here. I have it here from the script I wrote today for my uh, news. You know what I was thinking? Thing. Wait a minute. There was some uh, like rehash Michael Jackson thing on that you know I DVR'd, and uh, I said, "My God, you know, like you know, don't take it the wrong way. Like I guess it's a good thing Michael's dead, right? Because don't you think they might okay. rehash all of that the way they're trying to rehash well, Woody Allen? One of and one of these is Lucia Evans, who told investigators. Uh, that he forced her to perform oral sex on him in 2004, and they say they, that he was going to be charged with assaulting her. So mm. how does that differ from rape, assaulting, if you say No, no, assaulting. there's another woman, 2000. Yeah, there's, another. there's another woman, too, yes. Yeah, and the other woman is alleging rape. Now, mind you, folks, don't, 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 don't go writing me or getting pissed off at me. I'm not saying that I think that whatever Harvey Weinstein did, hey, it was okay. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. It was terrible behavior. It was terrible behavior that that casting couch mm -hmm. ever existed in Hollywood, all the way back to, like, you know, um, John uh, 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 Louis B. Mayer. You know, use the casting couch like crazy. But I use that, it. But that he is going to use that as his defense, and it it probably is a defense that will work. You know? Yeah, like, I just uh, bought a casting couch. It doubles the <laughs> sofa bed. Oh, no. I did too. It's right here. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These jokes are so bad, though, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> well, nobody My wife ever, hates it, though, when well, I bring Well, when were Phil's jokes ever good? Okay, so hey, I get a smile once in a while. But I, I just think he may wind up skating on this. I, mean, you know, he's he's got the money for the lawyers, and he's got the best lawyers in the business. And mm -hmm. you know, if they they got to be very careful, they can't go into a courtroom with a jury and start saying, "Well, now, now Rose McGowan was she like attacked or assaulted or?" I think so. Yeah, Rose McGowan also appears to me to be slightly crazy she's riding some kind of a like she, a, a stormy daniels kind of train there too she wrote a book and she well, uh, there's just something about rose mcgowan that just seems a little off that doesn't mean that she deserves to get raped or anything else but i don't know that i would believe her as much as i would believe several of the other women okay who don't appear rose, to be rose crazy. mcgowan was married to marilyn manson yeah oh no really yeah. wow yeah so, i think weinstein I mean, yeah now, Weinstein had an unfortunate factor in his relationships in that uh, anybody who would uh, have sex with Harvey Weinstein was allowing themselves to be abused <laughs> just by fucking right. Harvey Weinstein. <clears throat> I mean, the definition of abuse has got to be Harvey Weinstein having sex with anybody, even if it was consensual, it was abuse. Right, he's so gross. Yeah. You know, Marilyn Manson was on that TV show, California Cation. And uh, I really enjoyed uh, the, the part that he played. He played himself. Good. Thank you for the TV review. It's all an act. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ray, Ray it is an act. Some people, yes. People, yeah, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, 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 hold, hold on, Phil. Somebody else wants to talk. Chris. Well, I was, I was just wondering. I know in, in acting classes, 
uh, an acting teacher, a good one, will try to strip you down and break you down, and they might have give you a kissing scene with someone that you would never kiss in real life. Right. Ray, have you ever like, you know, they they it's almost like they target the one person that <laughs> they think you would least be able to be open with, and and it it d- has that ever happened with you? It, it yeah. almost like it leads you to strip away your sexuality to a very yeah. Base and I'm glad level they did you, it actually yeah. because once I was in a, a musical where my my love interest it was a comedy yeah. she uh, sweated like a pig every night like <laughs> i had to kiss i'd go up to kiss her and all i would see was his face just full of thousands <laughs> of droplets of sweat and i'd kiss her and it was just like salt flavor and yeah. it was the most disgusting and i had to do this like five days a week and um <laughs> mm-hmm. oh my god thank god for acting class and if you like them you mint and if you don't like them it's garlic and yeah, and, uh, oh. <laughs> but it, it seems like it gets to a point where anyone could kiss, anyone could kiss Harvey Weinstein because it's not that big a break from the acting class. It's a it helps you with your acting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can, you can go to the zone. It, it, it certainly would yeah. amount to me uh, any sexual act with Harvey, consensual or not, would be sexual abuse. You know, I mean, he he's such a, a disgusting, vile-looking man. Now, here is my question. He lost weight. No, I saw him in that. I saw him in that. Uh, uh, that uh, yeah, he, he, he looked thinner. He, no, he he's didn't. He's depressed. No, so it, 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 you must have not seen pictures of him before. He just is well, just I as fat. Before, he was really fat. He mug. can barely walk. I saw him at 7 o'clock. He did the perp walk or whatever that is. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and why, why do they handcuff a guy like Harvey Weinstein? Is he really going to go run? He yeah. might grope someone. Well, I know it's the procedure, but the what it is meant to no. do is to embarrass somebody and to make them look guilty. It's the procedure, and you can't do it to one suspect or one uh, person and not the other. You know, and some people are dangerous. So what they do is they have a they have a system and they they cuff them. Well, uh, you know, when they're it, taking them downtown. You know, they, so they, someday they, we might get to see Trump in handcuffs. I doubt oh, it. I've, oh, that would be I'm awesome. <laughs> You, I think we missed our chance. If he hadn't become president, he probably would have wound up in handcuffs. Yeah, it's going to be feel like maybe what you said about, about Harvey. Somehow he'll skate through everything, right? Yeah, but uh, um, um, you know, I just uh, I just think that uh, uh, you know, we, we it, 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 to begin with, it it's a terrible time for him to have to go on trial. Same thing that, like, it was the difference between oh, when right. Cosby had his first trial and it was a hung jury, and then they held, held another trial and they found him guilty. What was the difference between the two trials? They took place in a different period of time. One was pre-Me Too, and one was post-Me Too. And, and basically, uh, they finally got Cosby because juries had been... I thought it was because Alex. I thought it was because they allowed other witnesses, even though they were they uh, they weren't able to prosecute the, uh, on those witnesses because of the, uh, the length of time. Well, what, but what, this new yeah. judge allowed testimony well, from uh, uh, other women. Yeah, that, I know, and that yeah. and, and that was the, the difference too. The yeah. question is, are they going to allow that in this particular case? Because there's only two well, women so far, right? No, are they going to no? Are they going to allow other women to testify to show a pattern? Well, of there's abuse? precedent for it now because of the cause. Well, case. no, no, there's only a precedent in in Pennsylvania where that trial took place, not in New York. Hmm. Okay. Yes, Ray. It can't I, I think that um, once Trump fires uh, Giuliani. That uh, Weinstein should definitely hire Giuliani. R- really? No. I heard- <laughs> I'm, I'm saying a ridiculous statement. No, I don't think he should. Uh, uh, you know, Ray. I heard Cohen is available. <laughs> He's looking for clients. Yeah. Co- or know, Cohen. Ray, Ray brought up Giuliani. Have you seen how bizarre and strange looking he looks lately, like now? And I mean, yeah. He gains a lot of weight. He's bizarre. He make they take these pictures where his eyes. Are yeah, I wonder when the first uh, he molested. Oh, I wonder when the first uh, he molested me claim is going to come on Giuliani. I heard he's uh, plastered most of the yeah, time. Yeah. His wife's a- leaving him, right? Donna he, Hanover? No, she left no, him already. No, it's another no. one, right? Donna Hanover was divorced by him while he was going right. out with this new woman. 
in the other yeah right. in the spare He's room. I love how these Republicans who yell and scream about morality and all of that are some of the most immoral human beings alive. They have no respect. All the left-wing liberals that are getting uh, wrapped up in the Me Too thing, you know, I don't think it matters whether what hey, side. Am I a liberal, sit. Phil? Am I a liberal, Phil? Am I a lefty? Yeah, you're yeah, a lefty. Yeah, okay. Am I for the Me Too movement, or do I feel it's a, it's like a witch hunt? What I'm saying is the people that are getting uh, pulled into this, uh, many of them are lefties. Now, whether you support it or not, I'm not saying that you do. You know, I, I know you don't. And I know you don't think it's fair. But on the other hand, well, no, I, just don't, look, I just don't think it's legal. I mean, I think that a person no, has a not. right to be tried before you find him I guilty always, and I take always, away his life, uh, life's work. I said, I said that as well uh, when this first started happening. But I also say the same thing about Trump and that uh, he's being crucified in the court. He of says it's a witch hunt. Trump says, right? Yeah. That he's not being well, the well, what, what, what do you What do you think, Phil? Here's a guy who always says, I have proof that the, Demo that the uh, FBI was spying on my campaign. And by the way, I'm going to invite people in to see that proof. Well, they went in and saw the proof today. Well, and you know what they said when they came out? No. What there was saying? no proof. Well... <laughs> Uh, it seems as though why didn't the uh, FBI want to turn over the documents that the Congress has been asking to see? And this is where the proof uh, was, and it has either been uh, items have uh, been redacted. Phil, uh, Phil, your boy Trump said he had proof that the FBI was spying on him. Come into my office. I will show you confidential documents that will prove me right. He brought people in, both Republicans and Democrats, and they walked out saying, we didn't see anything that proved it. Well, I can't, uh, you know, I can't uh, say for them one way or another. I, you know, Trump says he's got proof. I tend to believe him. Oh, you tend to believe him in spite of the fact that people actually got to see the proof? Yeah, because... They, and, 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 was, and some of them were Republicans... Said uh, not everything they, was released. They haven't turned over the documents that they've uh, that Congress is asking for. But this is a man who lies all the time. Why would you believe him? This well, is a, this you know, is, this people is, cry wolf, and you know, one day they're right, and the wolf is actually coming. He's a serial liar. He's constantly lying. Yeah. Now, you know, I I don't interpret what he says that way. Uh, I I that's, interpret it in a different way. I see him. That's making because jokes you're a fucking moron. That's why. Yeah, well, look at Pelosi. Pelosi said... What about uh, ism? What about ism? What about no, no, ism? No, no, what, about is, what about lies. Pelosi? What uh, about uh, Pelosi? Trump... Uh, I'll get to you. I, get, I see you, Vernon. I'll get to you. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, uh, talk, Trump talks about MS-13, calls them animals, and uh, then Pelosi takes it out of context. Well, uh, wait a minute. Who, who, who on this program mentioned that story and didn't take it out of context but said he was probably referring to MS-13? That was Vernon. No, uh, it was me. I know. It was me. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, I mean, I said it's it, a little dishonest to say that he was but, calling all Mexicans although, animals. Well, he was calling the MS-13 people animals. But Schumer, Pelosi, and a lot of the news media jumped on that. And uh, you know they try to and they try to make him into a liar. They do anything they can do to discredit him. MS-13, by the way, is such an insignificant factor in in immigration that for him to to single this out, it's it's like saying, hey, there's a cat outside the mouse hole. Well, my when computer, there isn't. my computer at work is on MS-10. Yeah, I know. Uh, by the way, by the MS way, uh, uh, Tony was trying to call. Tony, you should know better than trying to call on. Oh, I, oh, I see what it is. He's got a new. He's got, a, I guess, a new computer or something. I can't. Okay, let me uh, let me uh, hang up on him, and then let me call him back. Hold on, guys. Uh, add to contacts. Send him. That might happen to me someday. I have a laptop that uh, yeah, adds a newer one. Yeah. Okay. So Here we too. go. Yeah, that happened to me when I had to reinstall Windows. That's a new iOS. That's a new iOS, like coming in. Let me see here. Hold it's on. Thirteen. A <laughs> I got. I'm trying to. I'm trying to call Tony. iOS. But, 
Yeah, that whole State of the Union thing where he was making a big deal out of MS-13 and all these, it made it sound like MS-13 people you know, were like running into the border. It was a news reporter that asked him a question about it. He mm-hmm. talked about it all night. What are you talking about? Well, it? He mentioned it over and over and over again. Yeah. I saw I it. I heard somewhere. News. I heard somewhere that the uh, Republicans are very afraid of Latinos and the Latino vote. And that could be why there's this immigration crap going on now with the Republicans, because they think this is sort of like a a way to keep Latinos from voting and all that stuff, because they think, you know, they're going to vote Democratic and there's, you know, they have so many babies and children that, you know, so they're trying to, like, get rid of anybody that's uh, Hispanic like or something, you know. Why wouldn't it help encourage them to vote against him? I don't understand that. Against who? Against Trump. His, why wouldn't he, his actions encourage Latinos to come out and vote oh, against Oh, well, it's gonna. It's gonna, you know. That, that's that's what she's saying, is that uh, she says but that... But it's a whole plan. It's a whole plan they have to change the immigration laws and everything, like because they don't want Latinos voting at all, really. You know, I think they want to... Against- by the way, Tony... But Tony, they be citizens. Hold on a second. Tony, you moron. I'm, I, I just started dialing you so you could join the group, and you're not answering your computer his mother fell down he asked she has, he has to pick her up i blocked tony and uh, then I unblock him on the weekends so he doesn't uh, make me nuts well during the- I, see i mean like what i've done is uh, you, you can see i'm actually ringing him and he's not picking up and yet he tried to get in without asking to be accepted well maybe he was calling another show and he hit gab that by mistake that could be removed from this group okay well another so citizens much. panel yeah i don't want to have to spend my whole time trying to get tony on the show so he can you just know, sit there and not say I anything that we like last year my neighbors across the street hired the landscapers and all that so it used to be like you know like five mexicans would come last year and everything right and they'd be running all over and everything now this year I don't know what happened. Did they change? I see two white older men with gray hair. I don't see, you know, so I said, I'm making jokes. I guess a day without a Mexican is happening here in Jersey where I am. Like, either they all left and went home. Two old old white gentlemen with gray hair. That's Ray and me. (laughs) (laughs) They're a little bit more bulky. And Vernon. And Vernon. Yeah. Well, he's the backup. (laughs) <laughs> but they were doing a hell of a job, and I I'm was not really older. impressed, you know. But o- older, they than... were riding that thing. But I mean, there wasn't anybody Mexican, and I said, "Wow, <clears> I wonder <throat> what happened." You know, like maybe they're all going home. Mexico. Maybe they got better jobs. <laughs> yeah, right. They're, they're <laughs> they're, they got even better jobs, right? Than landscaping. Uh, yeah, no, they, they're IT professionals now. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, silence. They're going to take Bree's job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that a summer listener? <laughs> I, I want to say that was great the other night when uh, I wanted to say, though, like Alex said, he didn't like white people. Renee said, I kind of don't like white people sometimes, too. I was like, yes, yes. I you know, <laughs> I, I would have loved to have called in that night. I think uh, that's what uh, Patrick said, I think, right? That, you know, he was like going crazy and he's just sat there and had to listen to that. That was really good, though. Like yeah. how uh, Renee didn't like white people, and you know, then you accused her Philip being a racist or something. Well, what's his name? Uh, just hates people. What's his name? Brian. Uh, Brian. Yeah. He's oh. gay, but it doesn't matter because he hates everyone. So it doesn't matter, mm-hmm. you know, whether or not he's. Um, I think yeah. he said that he had uh, Aspergers, and uh, and you know, sometimes that makes it difficult to get along with people so if you don't get along with them then speaking you end up- of that did you guys bring up i mean i've been listening but maybe i missed something that guy you know the kid that was 30 years old and his parents wanted to <laughs> come out yeah 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 you we already did that one? okay no i don't know if we talked about it but because uh there's really a lot of points coming out he tried i heard now he was trying to sue best buy because they try to make him work overtime oh. he, like he thought it was a waste of his time or something that, it's just trying to show you, like, I have a son that's a millennial. They are bizarre, these millennials. Like, they don't want to leave the house. Like, I have a son that, uh, he's that's on not. that thing that you talk about. Uh, Thrasher, or what is it called? Twitch. He's on that. And I think he's playing other guys' video games, and they pay him. And it's like he's got a job, you know? Is that correct? Yeah, and, Twitch. Uh, 
or whatever that thing is. Yeah, he, yeah, he you can get paid on Twitch if you have enough people watching you play the game. Oh, so that's yeah. what he's doing. Thank yeah. you. Because, you know, I can't get him to go out and get, like, a job where he leaves the house and all that, you know. So I, I'm, wa- I'm watching this. I'm I got jokes. one of those. I don't think there's a precedent on that, right, that I can throw him out <laughs> like those people. The, you know, <laughs> it's like George Costanza. Uh, there's, uh, there's a thing with these people playing the games, and when they're losing or they're having a bad day, they do something called swatting, where they call the police... And they send them. You, you to the, get paid on Twitch if you have enough people uh-oh. watching to play the game. Oh, why do I hear myself all of a yeah. sudden? No, that's. Uh, I can't get him to well, I know what it is. It's Jack. Jack's got his. Jack, your volume's up. On the, or that, uh, give me it's an old brain, and it has not been working at its best today. Come on, Jack. Get in and gear. Hey, look. It's a six cylinder world. I've got a two cylinder brain. All right. It just mixed well with it. Yeah. But I was thinking about what uh, you guys were talking about, about the Republicans and the Hispanic vote. Uh, I would refer you back to what Lyndon Johnson said. You don't refer. You don't refer wait a minute. You don't refer back. You refer to. Because you, you can't Sorry. refer back because that's like saying you back back. Don't be so nuky. You know, listen. He's the parliamentarian. He, you know, and it's his show. You know, he can. And he around. pays twenty dollars yeah. a month for a phone number that he doesn't need. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's right. But we love, but we love him anyway. <laughs> Lyndon Johnson said after the signing of the Civil Rights Bill of uh, what was it 60, 64, I think sixty five. Sixty four. Johnson said the the Democratic Party had lost the South for a generation. And uh, it's going into the second generation in some parts of the, <laughs> of the South. But the same thing is true with the Republicans when it comes to the Hispanic vote uh, because of the things they have done and the fact that they have offered these people uh, things, nothing that they wanted. It's uh, like, yes, didn't they have the Hispanic vote at one time? Yes, mm-hmm. and, and uh, they threw it away. Mm-hmm. They threw it away trying to get... Uh, suburban and central uh, United States white male voters who felt suppressed and oppressed. And at, you know, at one time, the Republicans had had the black vote, and, and the same thing happened. They just didn't deliver on the goods that the, of the things that we wanted. That was uh, in Lincoln's time? Oh, hell no. <laughs> that went into... Lincoln's had the black vote? That went into the 20th century up until just before Mr. Roosevelt, the second one, Franklin, was elected. Mm. And they and the black community saw him at least trying to change some things that had not been changed. Well, it would make sense that, that the Republicans had the black vote since Lincoln, you know, freed the slaves. So I'm sure that's one that's, of the reasons they got him right away. Yes. Yeah, one of the reasons they lost them. Yeah. Was uh, the New when Deal get the vote? Yeah. Uh, when when did the when did the blacks get the vote? It was uh, eighteen sixty six sixty seven. It was codified. Oh, so it was very close to the t- uh, the end yeah, of. But then they brought in Jim Crow, so that well, don't that confuse would nullify, don't right? don't confuse the two. By the way, by the way, I, I just want to say that I thought that uh, Trump was racist, but. I've given up that notion now that he's pardoned Jack Johnson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> because Stallone it, you, you know, how many, it, 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 how, many, how, many bl- how many black people since have been arrested, jailed for exactly the same thing over the years, and I don't see him going around giving a mass pardon to them. Mm-hmm. And well, Jack Johnson's dead. He doesn't care. Yeah. They didn't have a white house, though. For a long time, yeah. you, this, all, you know who spent time in jail for taking a white woman across state lines? Jack. Chuck Berry. Chuck yeah. Berry, that's right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Why don't you, why don't you, why, why don't you pardon Chuck Berry, you moron? Mm. Chuck Berry, you know, sweet little 16. Oh. Uh, Johnny B. Good. Yeah, oh. that, that's what he went to jail for. And they for. got a pardon him for taking pictures of ladies in the toilet of his restaurant or no, yeah, or yeah, whatever, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> and he got a pardon uh, 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 for everything. And who oh, wrote the best line that, that I ever heard in rock and Spotify, roll that is, on, that is only can be heard on a, a, 
a second version of uh, Sweet Little Sixteen, which was she must be bad because good things don't draw crowds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Chuck Berry, good, uh, very good example. Come on, Trump, uh, Chuck Berry, a little posthumous uh, 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 pardon now, for him. He, he awarded uh, a Medal of Honor uh, this week, and supposedly there was some uh, controversy around the guy that got the Medal of Honor. Do you know anything about I, that? I don't know the story on that, but last night, didn't you have a story about some guy who stopped some... Uh, was this uh, stopped a, a, a guy from shooting oh, the taser, people? the basketball kid got tased. W w last looking. night, he, he said that he had a gun, and so he was able to save these people or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in Oklahoma, uh -huh. uh, uh, there was a shooting. Where? At, uh, uh, pardon me? Was this at a school? Uh, it was at a restaurant. Restaurant. Huh? It was at a restaurant. Restaurant. At a restaurant. Oh, okay. There, it was called Louie's, and I think there was 100 people in the restaurant. And this guy goes in, starts shooting it up. And uh, hmm. now there's some controversy. Because there was another story today. Guy. There was another story about a guy today who was a hero. Who uh, there was a shooter that went into a school. He didn't have a gun, but he literally put himself between the shooter and the kids. Wow. Mm. There was another story also about a school. Uh, they had a lockdown because somebody said a kid had a gun. And of course, as kids will do today, they started texting. The next thing some of the parents heard about it. So they went up to the school with AK 47s. Mm. Oh my God. In Texas? No. Uh, it was, uh, I want to say, Pocatello, Idaho, uh, uh, Idaho. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is sort of Texas suburb north. You know, I was watching a program, and they said that the schools, that they don't have these mass shootings in the inner city schools, because the That's inner right. city schools are... Oh, no, they have metal detectors. And they have metal really detectors. Yeah. They're and, locked. They're uh, like that but, but that's oh, not the rules. That is not the principal reason you do not have mass shootings in inner city schools. Well, what is the reason? White folks don't get it. Black people, we don't necessarily, usually, except for maybe one or two uh, exceptions that I've read about, we don't usually get pissed off at a big group of people. We get pissed off at people who have pissed us off, personally. Hey, right, so outside, of, right outside of Toronto, I think it was yesterday, uh, somebody uh, used a, a homemade bomb and it was either 15 injured or, or killed. But so, you know, these they'll use yeah. a bomb. Uh, we we okay. were talking All about, right. the, right. you know, that uh, there are different ways people okay. can get in their car and mow down a group of people. We're but running those, we're running I, out of time those, here, and, and some people haven't really talked much. Uh, uh, do you have anything I, you want to add to any of this, Chris, or Vernon, or... Our good how friend. Does, I was Bree. wondering how one goes to Jack's website, or how do they see his show? Because Gabnet doesn't seem to loop right into it. Uh, yes, it does. You go over to Gabnet.net, and up at the top of the page, there's a thing that yeah. says uh, "Tune here for our 24/7 stream," okay. and it will. He wants uh, it will to see it. And you're okay. not going to be able to see it because he doesn't do video. Right, she doesn't do video. Oh, you're talking about doing video just as soon as I get the facelift. Okay. Yeah, right. and as soon as he as soon as he knows how to do it, which will take us the better part of well, he'll be dead long before we can teach him how to do it. Ah, fuck you. You, you could just put a point. bag over your head, Jack, with some eye holes. Hey, that's an oh wait a minute. <laughs> he's that's unknown a, uh, for talk show. Host, that might, that might put me in another political organization. <laughs> <laughs> well, just make sure it's not pointy top. Hey, you know something? I should really start running the theme here. What the, what, yeah. what, the, what the hell? Let me see here. Where's the theme? Oh, there we go. It's uh, it's it's going the way of all flesh there, the theme. Uh, uh, you know, something uh, been fun, been nice. Uh, I didn't expect we'd get this many people on Memorial Day weekend, but look at us. Uh, uh, we just got rid of Jack because he's got to go do the show right after us, which is the intersection with Amy Manuel. Uh, and uh, that's followed at 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time by uh, uh, Connections. Hey, listen, Ray, thank you. You're welcome. Always great to have you here. It, uh, and and, and uh, we love having you on, Chris. Uh, and uh, have a good time at Big Bear. 
Thank and, you. And call us again really soon. Like the next, right. uh, how long are you gonna be in Big Bear? Two weeks. Of, oh. I, I called to talk about World War II, but we went into Shakespeare and and Mehmet. So uh, okay, Mehmet. so so do me a favor. <laughs> we're back on Tuesday. Give us a call again, okay? Jesus. Okay, so we can talk Christ. about it. Yes, uh, thank Charlene. Thank you. Phil, thank you very much. Look at what Bree's doing. Who is that? Is that is that your fearless leader in Dubai? Uh, one of the founders of the country. One of the founders of the country. And uh, uh, and there's Vernon, and he isn't anywhere near his Morse code stuff. So he is he's just very quiet with that. Uh, uh, Alex, can you post your interview with Shakespeare? Yes, I will. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I only have it on a stone tablet, so I don't know. If it, <laughs> All right. Everybody, wave goodbye, will you? It's uh, time to say goodnight, folks. There we go. There goes our audience and our citizen panel for tonight. And uh, let me just uh, hang up on them here so that I can, uh, so that I can say goodbye to them. Uh, yes, and so they can say goodbye to each other. All righty. I think that uh, that uh, yeah, that does it for us. Yeah, that's it. Uh, hey, listen, we'll be back again uh, on, uh, well, on uh, Tuesday, right after uh, the uh, exchange with Damian Chaplin at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, whew, that took a lot. In the meantime, <laughs> if you see her. You know what? Yeah. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. Bye.